Oh, wow. Hmm. Hmm. Hi, I'm Joey Arnold, and this is American English, and we're gonna talk about how to start or how to keep a conversation going. First, you gotta start it. Then you gotta keep it, and at the end, you gotta end it in the right way, in the in the best way possible. Hmm. And if you do it the right way, it will taste better than milk. Hmm. Okay. So, how to keep a conversation going? Number one, you really gotta have heart. You really need to have your heart in the game, in this game of talking and communication. And we know that languages. Were probably created by girls, by women, because because、um, guys probably didn't need to talk as much back in the back in the cave world, back back in the cave times when men lived in caves so many years ago. But the women are like they tend to talk more, and and a long time ago, men they really wanted to talk to the girls. And and I learned how to impress women, and so they started finding ways to to talk to them, and that's why we talk in all these different languages, like English and Spanish and Vietnamese and Japanese, all around the world to communicate, and to you know express our different ideas is very important. So to keep a conversation going, we, you really need to have a heart. Your your heart, you know, your heart right here. It goes beating all the time to get the blood flowing, so that the 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 blood goes through the body, and it's very important. But we're talking about a different kind of heart, a heart inside your soul, in your spirit of of who you are, your essence, and it's very important that you have a heart. That you really care about the people that you're talking to, because if you if you don't really care about them, then、uh, you can't really talk to them.、Uh, maybe I mean you could talk to them a little, but not in the same way. So it's it's a lot better to really care about the people you are talking to. So you really want to have、um, heart. You want to care. You want to have love. For example, it's your your parents, the first people. That are in your lives are your your mother and, and your father, and and they really care about you. And you can have better conversations with them because they care so much about you. They love you so much, and you got to let them know that you love them. And when you talk to other people, you really need to care about them. Otherwise, they're going to feel it. They're going to know, and it doesn't matter what you say. They're going to know that you really don't like them. So you gotta find a way to care about people and to like them. Otherwise, they may not open up as much. And if they don't open up as much, they stay closed. And if they stay closed, then the conversation is going to die. And you don't want a conversation to die. You want a conversation to blossom like a flower. And then also. You want to have some guts. You know, you have some guts in your body. It's like some organs, some、uh, some parts in the body. You know, you have the heart, but then you also have the guts, and and the guts is the part that really helps you do the kind of stuff that you don't want to do. Is the is the part that helps you do something even when you're scared and you're afraid and you have fear. It's it's okay because you can still do it. You can still go into the fire. You, you know, say the house is on fire, but your dog is in the house, or your girlfriend is in the house, your your mother is in the house. You're scared of the fire, but you love your mother. So you go into the house, and the house is full of fire. You're scared, but you're courageous. And you're brave, and you're gonna try it. You're gonna try your best, and you may not make it. You may fail, but that's life. And you know what they say: no pain, no gain. You gotta try. You. 
and you got to keep on trying. You you can't just stop when the going gets tough. You know, the, when the going gets tough, the tough gets going, and you don't want to stop. You don't want to give up because it's so important that you put everything into who you are, um, because you really want to care about people and you want to try to help them the best you can in a in a conversation or even in a in your relationship, in your friendship with people, it's important that you try your best to maintain the relationships, not just the conversation for like one hour, but for the whole entire life that you have with them, the, uh, for a whole entire lifetime. It's very important to, to really have first heart and number two, guts. That's, that's your passion, that's your soul that's willing to, to do anything to to really care about people you 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 have a guts you have these guts you know because you care because you have a heart and so you're willing to do these things not not just talking so we're not just talking about talking and how to talk we're also talking about how to live and number three number three here is it's your brain you really gotta have some brains and knowing what to say and uh in keeping a conversation going. And your brain is here. And your brain helps you in everything you do and how to walk, how to breathe, and what to say. And it's important to take care of your body. Because if your body is not healthy, then you may forget what to say and how to say it. And you got to have the brains, you got to have the wisdom to know what to do with the knowledge that you have in saying the right things in a conversation and, and in knowing how to be uh, the right kind of friend or the right kind of brother, the right kind of husband that you need to be. And you got to have foresight. Foresight is the wisdom that you have for the future and you gotta know what to do in, in a conversation you gotta really um, know what to say uh, and, and you and, and you can sometimes because some conversations are predictable and and you can you can understand what they're going to say and you can get ready uh, to say something else in the conversation but at the same time, you need to care, you need to have the heart because you need to listen to what they're saying and not just think about what you want to say after they're done talking. So you really need to have the wisdom and the foresight and the time. When you go into a conversation, you need the time to really listen to the other person. Otherwise, it's not really a conversation. And that's not really good. And uh, you need some icebreakers. So when you start a conversation, you need to have icebreakers. An icebreaker is a way to start a conversation. For example, the way I started this video with some milk. And I said milk is good and keeping a conversation is good too. And there are different kinds of icebreakers. There's icebreakers with uh, you have games and uh, questions and uh, maybe different jokes you can say to make people laugh different things you can do to start a conversation and and an icebreaker is a way that you start a conversation you you really want to find a way to to get the people to open up the more they open up the more likely you will be able to keep the conversation going so the most important part of the conversation is the beginning. And if you're able to captivate them, then you're, you, you will be able to, to have them for a longer period of time. And that's very important to remember. You got to have the icebreakers. You got to have the questions. And you got to understand. And remember, it's okay to ask questions. And, and, and it's not really bad to ask questions you know they say there's no wrong questions and you gotta try a little 
and 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 you got to have this perspective because you know you got to be okay with making mistakes even if you ask a wrong question or a stupid question it's like falling down you fall down but you got to get back up again and and you got to keep on trying because because it's important you got to have the heart to keep on trying and try your best even if you might mumble your word and mum 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 you don't know what to say and you accidentally say the wrong things and you get a little embarrassed and your face turns red but it's okay get back up get back up try again try again keep keep trying again you you gotta keep on you gotta, you gotta keep on trying just don't worry even if you make a fool of yourself keep trying and sometimes you need to make some statements like you need to repeat what they said um, sometimes, so they said something like, um, and and my uh, my mother my mother told me that I need to go to college and and study accounting. Oh, oh, your mother said you need to go and study accounting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My 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 mother said I have to study accounting, but I really want to study art. But my mother always says you need to study accounting. And, and you can keep the conversation going when you repeat what they say or when you ask them questions like, um, uh, why? Why is that happening? Or, or how do you feel about that? Or you may want to say, really? And when you say the word really, that's very general. So you say the word really, really. R-E-A-L-L-Y. Really. And, and, and it's a very general word and really can mean a lot of different things. But uh, it's, it's important to remember that conversations are important because, because it's communication. And communication makes the world go around. And that's very, very good. Really? Really. See you later.